I welcome you to my new Let's Play, and as you can see, it's again Crusader Kings 2, but this time with the brand new DLC, The Republic. Um, I'm going to play as the Afstenkirka family in the uh, in the in the Republic of Gotland in Sweden, or well, in the Baltic Sea. Um, First things first, I'm starting as the controller of the Republic. I was voted in to uh, be the Grand Mayor. Um, it's the first time I started off this DLC, so I'm actually as clueless as you uh, in regards to playing a Republic, but I think I can handle it. Um, so. Let's get an overview real quick. Uh, I'm playing uh, Botstein the first, uh, subpar stats. Um, my immediate family is, let's see, I have a brother, Heigarria, and he's my heir because um, my title of patriarch is uh, as patrician, patriarch. As patrician is uh, uh, seniority, as you can see here, House of Stenkirka. So the oldest one always inherits. Um, I'm controlling the grand city of Gotland, uh, which is well, the duchy. Is it the duchy title? No. Here it is. It's a trade post. Uh, is it? Well, it's uh, I control the trade post on Gotland, and I control the entire republic. Um, with me are some other patrician families, like the uh, of Streben. He is actually the heir to the republic, as of now. This can change over the course, because I'm pretty young, I'm only 19. I didn't create this character, it was built in. Um, yeah, uh, other patricians, like uh, the goldsmith, I think that's a goldsmith, I'm not sure. Should be. Sounds like it. It really is uh, close to the German one as well. Uh, and the Hainum, the Gildehusen, and the Streben. Are the four different patri the uh, four other uh, patricians in the Republic of Gotland? I actually try to pronounce Gotland like it's pronounced in Swedish or in the dialect that's spoken there. I probably just massacre it, but it's fine. Um, yeah, let's have a quick overview. N there's not much going on here except that you get a negative. Uh, negative opinion modifier if the other patricians are not your uh, in your council because they expect to be in the council even though they may suck so let's just get those lazy bastards to work uh, this one is new it, you can uh, uh, on the map you have like favorite map modes and then you can expand the rest of it and I We'll do that probably. Oh, not Dutch or Dutchies. Dutch of Smeland. Do we have the Duke of Smeland? He's a chief. Interesting. I will uh, try to fabricate claim on him. Let's do that. And, of course, scheme. Um, let's take an ambition. Uh, oh, by the way, um, you, do, you want to, what I, I read out of the develop developers, uh, what the developers said, um, you want to keep your family as small as possible, because every male member of your dynasty actually cuts into your income. I don't know where to check that, but yeah. So, 
good thing is my wife is chased. Thumbs up. Um, let's improve my... Do I want to improve something? Yeah, let's improve my, my uh, diplomacy. Okay, that's that. Yeah, I'm losing the city and the Republic of Gotland, but uh, yeah. Some random crap here. So, I'm controlling this bee, which gives me hell a lot of money. Well, for northern standards. If you can see the republics in the south, uh, we have Genoa, Pisa and Venice are actually f a lot more rich, but uh, yeah, we'll probably make do. Um, there's a new button here called the Republic, which gives you an overview who will be the expected successor. That's the one with the most respect, uh, yeah, which is, as you can read, a value based on the age and prestige of a patrician. Um, this might be right, but it can be wrong, and that is because of the campaign fund. I can, like, put money into my campaign fund, and like a real politician today, um, well, not bri well, real politicians do not bribe today. At least they say they don't. Uh, <laughs> um, well, I can bribe others and and uh, basically pay for my uh, for my um, for my campaign. Yeah. So my brother is my heir, so he, I will take him Halgarir. He is educated by my mother. I might want to change change there. Well, the thing is, I'm a dutiful cleric, right? Yeah, I don't want him to become a dutiful cleric. Um, that's that. Trying to think. Oh, oh yeah, let, I, I, I'm a little bit hectic. I just came off work and sprinted to my PC. Let's have a look at the family trait zones. Here you can see the trait zones controlled by the patricians. So I'm controlling this trait zone, the Sea of Eland, Oland. Arland? I think Arland. I'm not quite sure about the circle above the A. Uh, we have the Gilder, who's in the Goldsmith, the Heinum and the Streben, and you can see that nothing happens down there. Um, then we have the uh, Combined Trade Zones, that's the trade zone of the whole Republic, so the Republic is trading in mostly the Baltic Sea, not everything. And we expand trade by building trade posts. So as I showed you, I'm controlling the trade post here on Gotland. Um, how did that increase? Anyway, um, I'm controlling the trade post in Gotland. I can uh, build like a small merchant port to increase its value and it will give me more money. Uh, thing is, do I lose this on succession? I think so. That the trade post in the capital always goes to the one holding the freaking republic. So I, I, I'm the only one actually without an... Uh, who's the heir to this? I don't know. So I am the only one who's not holding a personal one. I'm holding the Gotland one, but I uh, uh, will make more money than the other patricians. I will probably build one in Upland. Uh, which is, as I remember, if I remember correctly, the richest province here on the Swedish coast. I could go for Sjeland. Well, no, I want to dominate my little trade zone here. So, without further ado, I'm talking way too much. Uh, no, there's further ado. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm chaotic. What can I do? Um, I will pre-record this. Um, I actually trying. I'm trying to organize my channel a little bit more, so I will most likely uh, record once or twice a week and then upload over the course of the week two videos a day, something like that. I hope I can keep that up. Um, actually, I'm. I do have a new workplace, uh, so this might. Uh, be uh, hard for me to do, but I will try. 
Um, yeah. Okay, now, without further ado, uh, you can actually uh, upgrade your palace, your house. And you can't lose this house. So, you hear the new music? I downloaded it too. Let's start up the freaking game. Okay, limited crown authority, I will ignore it. Uh, yeah. Factions are not being founded. Okay, do I want to be greedy? Or charitable? Well, I will get... Uh, I will, would get my, my goal to improve my diplomacy if I take uh, charitable. Which gives me plus three. And diplomacy, but greedy gives me plus ten percent tax modifier. Since I am the fucking uh, mayor, Lord Mayor. Oh, I didn't get it. That's sad. Futile. Anyway, so um, let's check. In order for me to build a trade post in Upland, I need one hundred ninety-two. Base cost is one hundred fifty. Uh, so. As you can see, uh, I gain 33.6% uh, per uh, um, distance penalty. Um, and this is also modified by the opinion of the guy to me. So he's... I mean, if it, ah, right, he's the heathen, the heathen one. So this should be... No? Hmm. Interesting. Well, yeah, the distance is the same to all of this, so basically he's a chief, right? So basically they all cost the same, except this one. Anyhow, let's save up some money. And, yep, the typical Swedish war. Okay, we improved limited crown authority, can I... Do I have feudal lords? Yes, I have. Let's check the f check my my vessels actually. Wow, <laughs> they hit my guts. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Da, da, da. Yeah, let's make him a high, a high judge, so I get him on my good side. And you, he's a baron. No, hate him. He's another patrician. I will grant him the position of High Admiral just to get his taxes. Yeah. So, as I, you can see, the Hainem guy is the richest of my vessels. So let's see which province does he... Ah, there we go. He controls the Baltic Sea and the... Uh, Trade post of Sarema in, I think it's Estonia. Let's see how rich is this. Well, not that rich. Okay, so he, he apparently makes more money than we do. Um, I'm thinking about like uh, building this small merchant port because trade value plus 10 sounds nice. I'm not quite sure what trade value brings. Well, it increases the value of my trade ports and cities. Oh! An emissary from the Pope has arrived in our court. Uh, according to the emissary, the Holy Father is concerned about our employment of heathens as advisors. The Pope has asked me to remove them from position. So he asked me to remove my spy masters. Since he hates me, I will. And I'm checking, is he actually the Lord? Barony of Otham. Otham, is that? Well, I could revoke his. Could I? Can I? Without penalty? Nope. 
gear. So let's look for a new spy master. And there's no one here who likes me, so I will probably take my mother. Just because she likes me. And uh, let's see, will you convert? He will. And if he converts, I can put him in again. Thank you. Can I attack you now? No. You're a vassal of him. Yeah, he, here you can see I I'm can declare war to see the city. So I could basically like seize Upland for myself or uh yeah. Some other where cities are. Like I could seize uh Zigtuna or Enquipping. Okay, I got the money. What can I build here to no two hundred. Freaking expensive. Uh, let's... So do I want a plus one tax income? Or trade value? I think I'm building the plus one tax and when I got a new another trade port in the in the trade zone then I will increase the value of the trade zone. Because per percentages do not do much if you, you know, Oh, nifty. It shows me that I'm building. Spend it on the goldsmith guy. They, oh, they occupied, occupied, occupied the trade post. That's annoying. Well, it's not my trade post, so I'm good. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Okay, it's plus one every time. No, plus 1.5. I think that's cumulative, right? So it adds 1.5. Yeah, Prince Halsen for Sweden. So this guy wants to be my spy master. Giving my mother a chance. I think uh, Gotland is whew, the usual. Actually, the yeah, look at this. The slowest of the uh, choices you could have for um, trade republic, just because uh, the provinces in the south are much much richer, and they start with more, so they are making more money in the beginning. But uh, the one thing that is one thing that is good here is that uh, there's no competition between other merchant republics. Uh, I hope it's not getting too boring. You know, uh, okay, that's the plus one demo diplomacy thing for my ambition. Trade pulse of Vestmanland. How the fuck? How did they get the money to do that? That's weird. They didn't start with it. Okay, so my brother is actually of age. Do I get minutes prestige for it? No. And he's chased, that's very good. Uh, well, his stats suck. But, uh, oh well. 
I can actually uh, put him in. What? Why does he hate me? As my new chancellor. Uh, this way he will get more prestige. My wife is pregnant. And if he gets more prestige, it's like it's more likely that he will... They all have a second... I think they... Interesting. all have a second trade post. That's interesting. Okay, I think they saved their money to build a second trade post right off the bed. Uh, oh well. So I'm actually uh, behind in the trade post stuff, but I uh, upgraded mine. Holy War for Pomerania, yeah. Okay, now the Holy War Ring starts, I will not partake in it, because my position in the Baltic Sea is very good, so I can basically get every province in here for uh, what trade without taking another... Um, without having to take another um, province. Can I seize... No, he doesn't have a si Seize the city of Stalingrad. I could. I think I will. How strong is he? 296. I can seize the city here and then expand further to Norway and Denmark. I think that would be... How many can raise double of his, so... Yep, fuck it. Let's do it. Seize the city of Stalingrad. And... Can I just get these? I don't care for court chaplains, actually. Okay, the reason why I'm going here first is because uh, invasion by sea is uh, very costly to the troops. So, let's see. I should take him out fairly easy. Or not. How the fuck did I lose this? Oh, I... Commanders. Yeah, that sucked. Okay, I got a daughter. Yeah, I had poor commanders, and I think my troops suck. Damn it. I will disband and wait until they're replenished and then attack again. Uh, I hope the war will not end until then. Why am I losing money? What levy upkeep? Find him a wife. Uh, a chaste one would be nice. Or let's take a younger one. So uh, <laughs> no. Um, yeah, let's. 
let's take her. I can't. What the fuck was that? Ah, right. She's a daughter of a noble, and I have to pay him. This will suck, probably. Why does he have... Yeah, whoever that was. Come on. Yes. Okay, I think that's enough to besiege the freaking... That's good. Okay. Let's bring back the ships. Oh, I didn't see what... I think we lost the trade post, didn't we? No. Kay. I need around 190 to get the trade post. Is that a different religion? Yes. Yeah, so uh, basically I'm not taking the city here. I think it's only the city that I get, not the uh, whole province. And after that I will buy a new trade post in uh, Upland. I hope it's not taken until then, but I doubt it. And then I... Uh, yeah, basically I'm free to do whatever I like. And yeah building new trade posts and expanding the old ones stuff like that I uh, here you can see that my my uh, brother is getting gaining prestige well not very much but can I give him like an honorary title Anyway. Yeah, I think he gets like, yeah, because he holds the city and I'm now besieging the city. Once I got it, I won this war. I'm ill, so please, 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 please don't kill me. And I won the freaking war. Yes. Okay, I now own the city, and I can, like, increase, well, 
this one will be put into my personal domain. I will keep it even though... Uh, no, I'm not spending money. Uh, even though I'm... Uh, uh, when I lose the uh, Republic, which will probably happen because it's hard to get like uh, re-elected every time. So now I'm building a new trade post in Upland. Here we go. It's under construction. Did we win the war? No, we actually didn't. We lost the war for Pomerania. So let's see. Republic's trade zones. 